Well, you're closer than I am. You can probably see this pickup rather more clearly. John Warman is the captain in the left-hand seat, David Barlow in the right-hand seat, and the crew chief with them, Sean Jarvis. Catalina have got a stall here today, the three folks from the uh, Catalina Society. They'd love to see you. You can buy all things Catalina. And we've seen that the wings are set high above the fuselage on a, a central pylon. The engines mounted that keeps the engines well clear of the water. Now the interesting thing about that is you have these engines well above the pilots, so the throttles, the engine controls, are in the roof of the cockpit rather than the usual place on a little console between the pilots. This is one of the awkwardnesses about the BBY. They also suffer from rather heavy flying controls with no power assistance. Of PV. Oh, there are the floats coming down, those floats. <coughs> it's a lovely sight to see these aeroplanes on the water. But uh, this particular one, I gather she hasn't been on the water in England for a while, although she did not too foot long ago land in, on Locker. And in the impression that she comes towards us is of how high those engines are um, above the where the pilots are sitting in the cockpit. talk about landings, they talk about alightings, because that covers either land or water. They're quite difficult with this aircraft, doesn't have any flaps, they're sort of uh, slow speed handling things that almost all other aircraft do have. However, there were some comfortable things about it, for their long 14 hour flights, the crews had trunks and a galley in there. The early versions of the aeroplane were pure same caught on. The cat's roll is a, a patrol aircraft, what we now call maritime patrol. Although sad to say we may talk about maritime patrol in the Royal Air Force, we don't have any. Uh, more about that later perhaps. But here you see the, uh, the floats have gone and the wheels are now down. So we see the tricycle undercarriage, the two main wheels quite near the back, uh, and a nose wheel. Or maybe it'll go for a P8. Really do need something, I feel. There we go, it's not up to me. Later versions of this aircraft did have radar and also a magnetic anomaly detector, MAD for short. That's the thing that detects submarines underwater, measuring the disturbance to the Earth's magnetic field of a large piece of metal floating around underneath. And MAD technology is still in use today with maritime patrol aircraft, as of course is radar. It was the Royal Air Force Coastal Command Cat Catalina that spotted the German, battle, German battleship Bismarck after it had sunk HMS Foot, and Churchill made his famous order, Trink to Bismarck. Catalinas flew with the RAF till the end of the war, and one actually sunk the last U-boat of the war. And of course, our other important role was air-sea rescue, and we now call that search and rescue. Lovely gentle sound of two Pratt & Whitney R1830 twin wasps, 14 cylinders each, radial engines, 14 cylinders in two rows of seven. Radial meaning that the cylinders are positioned around the central crankcase in a circular shape, as opposed to being in line as they are with uh, a lot of other engines, but most car engines, for instance. So, so make the most of that. You can get involved in this. You could become a shareholder. I'm not sure if they've got any room at the moment, but people do invest in this airplane. And uh, what a lovely thing to be a part owner of. Do go and see the, the Catalina stand and talk to the Catalina people about her. So, what a relief. We did think she wasn't coming 
But here she is. And personally, I'm delighted she's here. And I'm sure you are too. No, no, no. 